The toolbar on the Woof V500 is placed at the top of the screen. This button on the toolbar is to open a file to your laptop and ECU. When depressed, you'll be asked where the location of the file is. You just pick which file you require and just open it. This button here is the save button. It will ask you where you want to save the file. These two buttons on the desktop are to stop communication with your ECU and this one here will be illuminated green like that. So at this point in time this software has stopped communication with the ECU from laptop to ECU. If we push the green button it will now re-communicate. This is the load indicator telling you how fast it's loading and that it is seeing an ECU and loading. If you have to at any stage load the ECU to laptop, you can hit the load button. You don't have to suspend or turn off any power to the ECU, you can just upload the program. This button here is the suspension button. When depressed, suspends the screen. This will mean that there is no live data actually showing on the screen at all and allows you to turn the power off and on on the ECU. If in any case that you are using the program with the suspension button depressed, you will not see live data, but you are able to make changes to the fuel map, ignition map, and any configuration tables and compensation tables. This button here will track you to the live cell. When applied, will automatically take you to the live cell wherever the live cell is. This allows you to adjust without having to move the cursor around the screen. When pressed, your cursor can be moved freely and the live cell remains where it wants to be. This button here changes your colour of your ignition and fuel maps. When depressed, turns it white and leaves your cursor as a dark blue. It leaves the live cell as a light blue on a white background. When not depressed, you have different colour increments. Once again, you have a dark blue for your cursor and you have a white for the live cell. Obviously different colour increments for the higher number of milliseconds and same with your ignition map. The x-axis. The x-axis is your horizontal line going across your screen. In your fuel and ignition maps it is the RPM band. On this map we see 125 RPM increments. If we hit our X button once, it takes it down to 250 RPM increments. Hit it again, we see 500 RPM increments and once more to 1000 RPM increments. If a change is made while in 1000 RPM increments between 0 and 1000, it will interpolate between them. We also see the y-axis. Now the y-axis is your vertical plane. At this point we have 16 load bands showing. We keep hitting our y-axis, we can keep going to this point. What this is good for is if you want to do a quick interpolation of a whole map, you can change your y and x-axis down and make a map, fuel map, ignition map, very quickly. This button here is your fuel map. A quick button to
to go straight onto your fuel map. The one beside it is your ignition map. This button here is your information tree. Hit it once, we remove the tree and gives us a much bigger screen for tuning on the dyno, tuning in general. Hit it again and it will open up the information tree. This button here automatically brings up your notes. The notes are very important, should be filled in for every vehicle, lets the tuner know what, who, where and why. This is just about our software, the version of software and who we are. The help button. On the V500 software, the help button provides a pinout of the V500 connector and related wiring. We also have, once again, about the V500 software. This is also very handy if you're ever talking to someone and need to know the version of software that you're running. In the Tools button, you have a Fuel Rescaler. What this does is allows you to put in the old value of injector size to the new value of injection size and it will modify what is required. With your communications, communication settings, this is the COM port settings, what COM port is required by your laptop, and the speed that you need to run it at. Data logging. View. In toggle colours, this will change the background colours. White to black. You may find that white is better when you're using your laptop in the daytime. The dashboard refresh rate. Once again, this is the rate at which it refreshes everything. If you have a slow processor in your laptop, you may want to pick the slowest. The help text. It's always recommended to leave the help text on. This is the help text down beside your text screen down here. This can be turned on or off, depending on what you require. The 3D three-dimensional graph pointer. When activated, will be shown on the graph as so, and will follow your live cell wherever it may go. It's advised that if you have a slow processor in your laptop to turn this off as this will save processor speed. This is just for font size whether you want large or small depending on what laptop and screen size you have to what you require. 